Well, all right, let's talk about Patrick Mahomes. I, I thought this could be an interesting idea for a video of, you know, we kind of almost talked about Mahomes at this point as like a godlike level, and in, in, in fairness, like fair, right, with how good he started his career. But I kind of want to make a video talking about if it's possible to stop him and if it's possible to stop the Kansas City Chiefs. And while it's a bit weird because the Chiefs won't be exactly the same as they were, obviously, uh, let's get into it. And let's talk about maybe what went wrong last time teams tried to stop Mahomes, like what you see on the screen, which is a zone coverage play. You see the concept the Chiefs are running. And quite frankly, the Bills' idea of trying to stop Mahomes did not work very well in the playoffs at all. This kind of zone coverage concept. The reality is the Chiefs kind of tore this up last year. On this play, Mahomes is going to take the snap and looks down the field. And you see him He's looking at the player who's just running underneath. This has been a real part of of Mahomes' game uh, as it's gone along is, you know, obviously he's kind of known for the big arm, the scrambles, that kind of stuff, but very much what you would see 92, you know, uh, around 90% of the time, honestly, was just him taking what the defense gave him. It is very much the kind of the Tom Brady school of thought of let's just, you know, put the ball in the right player's hands as often as he can, and then obviously Mahomes can still do the, you know, crazy stuff when he needs to. As you see here, though, I mean, Andy Reid's so good at dialing up these, you know, good zone busters and did such a good job in the postseason that when teams tried to do this, it didn't really work. Now, the Chiefs did have offensive issues last year. The idea that their offense just rolled by everybody would be silly. And honestly, the idea that it rolled by everybody in the postseason is also just not true. Let's go to the AFC Championship game, which, you know, I mean, we can say, how does anyone stop Mahomes? You know, maybe we should make talking about the other way around. How does anyone stop the Chiefs defense because of how well they played last year? But there was a moment when a team stopped Patrick Mahomes. It was the Baltimore Ravens in the conference championship game who did a a lot of really good stuff. What were they able to do? Well, it's what you see on the screen. It's going to be man coverage across the board right here. And when Mahomes takes a snap and looks in that direction, you see that right here, nothing is really looking to be open. Honestly, it kind of reminds me a bit of how teams would play Lamar Jackson a while ago, where or even now, kind of, where you play man coverage, and as long as you have the corners who can man up against the opponent's receivers, well, then Lamar, you know, he has nowhere to go with the football, and what are you going to do? He can try and scramble and make something happen, but you're hindering a huge part of the game for the offense, and it seems like that's kind of what the Ravens were trying to do against the Chiefs, who, what's their weakness? Their weakness was receivers, and the Ravens' strength was corners, so it makes sense. Now, Mahomes is going to, you know, eventually decide that's not a good option. He goes down the field, and here's the other aspect, is there's multiple Baltimore players who are getting after Mahomes. You have to be able to contain him and not give him too long to throw. He's going to get more than your two and a half seconds. Like, that's just the reality of the situation. He's Mahomes. One of his superpowers is he gets more time to throw because he can scramble out and make stuff happen. But here, honestly, if he was, you know, fully planted maybe there's a th uh, throw to make a you know a throw to make here maybe there is but due to the pressure eventually being able to kind of get him to where he can't make anything happen he throws the ball away instead this is a lot of how you can beat Mahomes and it's how you can beat any quarterback right kind of similar to how people used to always say you beat Brady through pressure up the middle and people would respond with well you beat any quarterback that way well you beat any quarterback by playing good coverage and Mahomes is a guy you can beat with that but even like stuff like this, where what's going to happen is, to me, this is, quite frankly, kind of the main reason why this can be so effective and why this can slow down the Kansas City Chiefs is it's going to be, once again, man coverage. And, and what's a potential opportunity to get some yards on this play? How, how could you maybe design something? Maybe you could think in your head what's something you could do. Uh, but here's what the Chiefs are going to do. The halfback's running that route right there, which especially makes sense given Kyle Hamilton's currently on the middle of the field right now. Like, yeah, turn it into a foot race, get the ball in a playmaker's hands. This is a good opportunity. Like, on paper, this is a fine situation. Mahomes is going to take the snap. He's going to flip it to Pacheco, but Kyle Hamilton runs in, makes a great tackle right away. And like, listen, you know, yes, it's kind of obvious to say, oh, here's how you beat Mahomes is you have Kyle Hamilton. Like, okay, great. Not a lot of teams uh, have a guy like that. Not a lot of teams can consistently, you know, make these types of plays. However, I do think that you saw that the teams that had the most success defensively against the, you know, uh, best player in football, Patrick Mahomes, were teams that got the ball out of his hands. You get Mahomes to quickly throw it to the halfback. It's a win right there. 
if you're in a situation where now you can just have a player go up and make a play, and it's not like zone coverage where Mahomes is picking a great matchup, instead it's just like a pure one-on-one matchup. It's still far from a guaranteed victory, but it's a lot closer than what you want to have happen. So that's one thing Baltimore did, but they did something else that is worth mentioning. Right here, they're going to have, it's going to be Kyle Hamilton blitzing on this play. And there's a narrative that has existed for a minute now, which is you can't blitz Mahomes. But recently, that hasn't actually been the case. Recently, the numbers have been pretty similar when you blitz or don't blitz him. And part of that might be teams just blitz him less. And so it's more of a surprise when you do blitz him. But I actually think there's something different. I think it's similar to how the narrative used to be you can never play two, uh, a single safety deep against Mahomes. To me... That's what you can't do against Tyreek Hill. If you're leaving Hill one-on-one with, you know, only a single safety deep, you're going to get burned. But now that the Chiefs don't really have that guy, and maybe they've added one with Marquise Brown, but as of right now, they don't really have that guy. As in, like, you know, last year they didn't. Well, you know, that that was actually a decent strategy. Blitzing him actually uh, was a strategy you could implement if you can dial it up properly. You see Hamilton's going to rush through, and he gets straight through. Was not picked up well by the halfback on this one, and now Mahomes is in complete trouble. As you see, again, Mahomes, like, you know, the way you beat Mahomes, the way you can beat a lot of people. If you can get a straight shot to the quarterback, like, that's not going to typically go well for that quarterback. And that's just one of those things where it's definitely fair to say that, like, the Ravens, are really good at this stuff, and they dialed it up very well. Uh, these are the ways you can slow down Mahomes and make things work. Is I think don't be totally afraid to blitz him. I'm not, I'm not saying you can do it all the time. Definitely don't do that. But like you should be trying to get him off his game. You shouldn't just sit back and let him pick you apart because he will pick you apart. You have to understand not just what Mahomes' strengths are, but what the Chiefs' offensive strengths and weaknesses are, and attack that as well, which is what Baltimore did a good job of. However. Baltimore also lost that game, right? And a big part of that was, you know, the Ravens' offense couldn't get much going against the Chiefs' defense. But it was also stuff like this, which this is a fourth down and two and ultimately ended up being a pretty big play in this game early on as the Chiefs would ultimately score a touchdown on this drive in a game they won by seven points. But you see right here, it's going to be man coverage. Mahomes takes the snap. He's going to roll out towards the bottom of the screen, but he doesn't love what he sees in that direction. And here's where the kind of other X factor comes in. Because I brought up Marquise Brown. You know, it's worth mentioning this Chiefs team will be different than last year's Chiefs team. And the thing that, you know, was able to work against that Chiefs team might not necessarily work in 2024. But there's also that guy. That is Travis Kelsey. And that's kind of the one thing that still is not quite perfect uh, if you are uh, trying to implement this strategy is you're going to have to have someone who can cover Travis Kelsey. As of right here, the Ravens did not. Kelsey makes the grab. Really good throw from Mahomes. And this is just the other X factor. And why the Chiefs are just so deadly is they can beat you in so many different ways. And even if you implement the perfect strategy to try and slow down their offense, which I would still say, like, if I'm playing the Chiefs week one, I know they added Marquise Brown, but, like, I'm still implementing that this strategy. I'm trying to make it work. Do I think it's going to work? Probably not because it's the Chiefs and they'll figure something out. But that is still probably what I would do. Uh, So is there a way to beat Mahomes? I don't know. Is there a preferred strategy to play against Mahomes, though? I do think there is. That's how I view all of this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.